hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i'll be painting this drawing i did of um erin yeager <laughs> while i talk about the anime attack on titan or as we otaku like to call it shingeki no kyoji yeah, the anime has been going on for some time taking breaks here and there five years <laughs> taking breaks for five years and some months before they could even release the second season very annoying stuff but at least finally everything is coming to an end so i decided to make this video where i basically just rant <laughs> or give out my thoughts on the whole anime especially um, season three and the ongoing season season four or the final season so um yeah now um first of all i like to talk about the ending because um the way i'm seeing the, the anime actually it's heading towards a kind of enigmatic ending where things have taken a turn for the worst like i sincerely did not believe that most of us when we started this series back in 2013 would we'll expect it to have gone the way it is going now yeah but there are some theories i have regarding the ending or the end game of attack on titan um i'm sorry to say that i might or i may talk about things that if you are not up to date on in the manga it might be spoiler territory for you so if you would like to continue with this video you should be warned that there are going to be spoilers up ahead now when attack on titan started like in the first episode we see eren under a tree like sleeping and at this point eren doesn't have his titan power so <coughs> we know that um the attack titan has the ability to see into the future that's its own unique ability but at this point eren doesn't really have he has not become a titan shifter yet so but something struck me about that particular scene where he was sleeping under the tree before Mikasa came to wake him up. He was having visions, like he was they were seeing he was seeing Titans and some stuff that he had not even experienced. They even showed a scene of his mother, um, the scene where his mother was eaten by his dad's <laughs> his dad's first wife. Yeah. So he now wakes up and asks Mikasa what he's doing there and Mikasa said I've, I think I don't I can't really remember but what struck me here is Eren saying he's it seems like he just woke up from a very long dream and at the same time he was crying I that I didn't really get that because it was because how would he have seen those things if he didn't have the power of the Titan then so my whole theory and um, then what me i feel about this is maybe this whole attack on titan series is taking place or is just taking place in Arian's dream and after this whole end game he wakes up from it then maybe i don't know warns individuals about the events to come i don't know why uh, this is just what i think anyways the reason why I say this is there is another there is a movie that has used this um, particular plot twist before, and that is Twilight. If you watch, if you watched the whole Twilight series to the end, you will notice that the whole last battle was just um, a vision that one of the protagonists saw, and I think after when when, when she saw the vision, I think the whole crisis was averted when now made this clear that okay if we fight you guys will lose stuff like that so that's what i feel is going to happen yeah so now moving on from that um there is this whole moral compass that has been going around where people will be saying that um uh, this one is right and that one is right um, for example erin shouldn't have gone to marry and killed innocent civilians blah 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 and all that nonsense okay so let's look at something 
episode i think the whole assault on mali was i think episode five and six of this season four yeah episode five and six now those are just two episodes and i am not here to support murder or anything like that but you guys should understand that we watched season one to three of basically these guys coming to that island and killing people that have no idea why they were being killed like these guys okay yeah the eldians quote unquote are claim or the malians are claiming that um, the eldians used their powers and um terrorized people in the past uh, that's two thousand years ago i'll be one thousand one thousand years ago killed people forced them to raise their children and did that okay yeah all that um happened i agree now what is the whole what is what are the Mayans doing currently they are using the so-called demons to terrorize other countries and then basically doing the same thing so i i bet it all comes down to um you don't want to be oppressed but you want to be the oppressor i think that is who <laughs> that's what me i see it as because if you were so sanctimonious as you claim to be why are you using, why are you using the same powers that you like it's it doesn't really make sense you are calling people devil but yet you use their powers to conquer nations and stuff like that it doesn't really make sense now that is i'm talking about the malians now now let's even talk about the so-called eldians i'm talking about the ones staying in mali <laughs> now i relate this to slavery back in the day like we are talking about slaves that okay we, the black race was being oppressed by slave owners and all, all, all whatnot but still amongst these slaves there are some of them that <laughs> even plot or rather they, uh, more or less like snitches of these slave owners that turn against their own people so i'm trying to i'm relating the eldians on mali i'm taking the brainwashing aside now like like it doesn't just make sense because you are relating to you are calling the people on the island demons when it is the same blood that runs through your veins they are basically the same tribe so i really don't get where i can understand the fact that the children were brainwashed but then these as uh, in all these narratives that are being forced on them by their oppressors and now they are now taking out that anger on the people on the island and the funniest part is the the whole reason why Aaron took this action that he took was because okay hanji brought up a plan that um yeah they were supposed to go to mali and show these guys that we are not the devils that you people think we are but instead when they got there i think there was a particular hearing or gathering where the leaders there wanted to just focus all the hatred on the of the world on that island but they want to say okay the people staying on mali are the saints but the ones on the island should be condemned it doesn't make sense <laughs> like it doesn't really make sense because they are literally the same people the people staying on the island have no idea what they were talking about yeah the ones that their ancestors might have committed crimes but the ones that are living currently have done nothing in fact they are even oblivious of the fact that they are more of the reasons why they are being killed that is just like okay for example adolf hitler was um adolf hitler was a German. should we now say that because <laughs> hitler was um what would i call it now was killing jews in their masses all over the world should we now subject all the germans today the children the ones that were just born that don't even know or are not even related to adolf hitler should we now start um, subjecting them to persecution <laughs> so i'm just sorry i'm taking it to this angle but i'm just trying to um, make sense out of it all anyways so that's it now i agree ellen's plan or Aaron's current plan especially in this end game yeah like i let my heart legit beats <laughs> or should i say <laughs> my blood pressure rises whenever i see the down spiral that as in the atrocities that um, sayama is making this guy commit but then his hand was forced 
that's how me I see it. Because when he met with Reiner, he literally told Reiner that when Reiner asked him why is he here, he told Reiner that he is like him, that he has no choice. That because when Eren started started the rumbling, he said something, he said it's true that the problems of Titans will be solved if everyone on that island is wiped out. That maybe they, they will read the world of Titans because legit it is the Eldians that can transform into Titans. However, he said that is an outcome that he just cannot admit because that would mean all the innocent people on the island that have done nothing to the uh, to the Marians will just be wiped off the earth. So he now that's what made him choose this more I don't know drastic measure. Now the funniest part about this is okay. Eren now started the rumbling, and as a result of that, we now see Rainer, <laughs> Rainer, um, and all the whole warriors and the scouts working together to stop Eren. Which, in some sense, I don't know if he had thought this true. Maybe Eren felt that okay, if he becomes the villain of the show, or if he becomes the villain that um these guys are going to unite to stop me yeah maybe he saw that and decided to go ahead with his plan but that one didn't justify the killing anyways but it still boils down to the fact that he doesn't he did not have a choice that's one then like i said earlier Aaron might be doing this um maybe he um he might not this might just be happening in a dream and he plans to maybe if he wakes up reveal that okay this is what is going to happen if you guys don't stop this unnecessary persecution so anyways that is what me i think the reason why Aaron is doing what he is doing currently is because he has no choice and um we can i can relate although his is a bit more extreme but an, an, another anime that takes this um, whole concept of doing evil for the sake of good, um, it's Code Gears. I don't know um, if you've not watched that anime. It came out a, some, a long time ago, but it's very interesting. Like I only got to watch it last year, but it made so much sense to me. The main protagonist there takes on the role of the villain at the end just so that everyone can be focused on exterminating him and being united so these are very enigmatic characters in the sense that you can't really understand them until they have achieved their aim even if they achieve their aim through dirty means but then um this whole it still comes back to this whole concept of doing evil because doing evil for the sake of good or fighting evil with evil because the way these Malians are, Eren couldn't have actually gone there to say, uh, start begging that um, please tell, tell him stories that uh, we are good people. Because me, I felt if they had gone there to try and prove anything, say they want to just talk, those guys would have been killed. That's my own opinion. Like Hanji and the whole pacifist my, uh, mentality that they carried, they might have gone there and they might have been killed because those guys are not ready to even listen to reason. The only reason why they are even banding together now is because they saw that they were about to be exterminated. If that whole, if Eren hadn't taken that particular stand, I'm telling you that the outcome that we are seeing now would have never happened because those guys were not ready to even at least you can okay. We are I am for example now. Let's look at Gabi. Although Gabi zone, at the end of the day, you can say, yeah, she. She got a rethink of her, of her line of thought, but then it's not everyone on that island that will, or rather on Mali, that will reason that way. So that's just what I think about it. No doubt, um, Eren has really changed, as in I can't say that I like the way that his character changed. Although, there are some things I still enjoy, but then, this whole thing... <laughs> I don't see the series ending in a, even if it's going to end it's going to be a kind of bitter and when i say bitter i mean a very bitter then sweet kind of ending 
But regardless, Attack on Titan is going to go down, or Shingeki no Kyojin, as I like to call it, is going to go down as one of the best anime series of all time. And Eren as well is going to go down as one of the most realistic protagonists in anime. Not all those um, <laughs> more um, righteous, self-righteous ones that we've been seeing over the past or in past years. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. I hope you liked me rant about <laughs> my thoughts on uh, anime for this whole time. <coughs> if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.